People are all busy today's days thanking Hashem. for whatever I have, so on and so forth. Now, let's move back a moment and try to understand what thanking means. Thanking is a way of expressing gratitude. I got something, I can't give back, but I could show appreciation. When someone helps me schlepping uh, packages out of my car, I'll say thank you because I really appreciate I can't schlep back for you. What I could do is show appreciation. The more we will thank a human being, the more I will thank my friend, the more he was going to be willing to give back to me, the more he's going to be willing to help me. So it's a two-way street. I thank, showing appreciation, he wants to help me. When I help somebody else, the person's going to thank me, I will feel good helping him. If he doesn't thank me, it'll be harder for me to help him because it's like a, it's a pain. Thanking Hashem works the same way. We thank Hashem. For everything I have. Thank you Hashem for everything I have. And Hashem sees that we appreciate what we get. So He will give more and will help us more. But some people make a little mistake here. Some people think we can use Hashem. We can manipulate Hashem, so to speak. We could control Hashem's way of running the world. And, and they will say, okay, I need a thousand dollars. I need a thousand dollars. What do I do? Um, I will say thank you to Hashem, and He will give me. Well, that's not the way it works. It's called manipulating Hashem. It's called trying to control Hashem, so to speak. So the real way how to do it is, let's say for argument's sake, a person really needs this a thousand dollars. He needs the money. He's desperate. So what should he do? The real way how to do it is, put away this thought of a thousand dollars for a moment on the side. And be grateful for whatever you do have already. And there's so much to be grateful for. Just thinking about our body. We have ribs implanted in our body to protect our lungs not to get hurt. We have a heart which is beating all the time. We have ears to hear and it's soft, it's so cozy and comfortable. We have a mouth to talk, to taste, to eat, a nose to smell, eyes to see, hair which protects us from the cold weathers. And there's so much within our body itself and the things around us. We could breathe fresh air. That's all what we could thank Hashem for. So when we thank Hashem for the little things that we have, which is huge, but it's little in our minds, then we will show Hashem that we appreciate what He gives us. So instead of manipulating Hashem, saying, okay, I will say thank you and it will give me a thousand dollars. No, I don't need a thousand dollars right now at the moment. I will need it tomorrow. I'll, even though I do need it now, but let me not think about it right now. Let me focus on being grateful for whatever I have. And in most cases, when Hashem sees that we are grateful for what we really have and living in gratitude, and showing appreciation for what we do have already, then in most cases Hashem will say, perfect. I will give you the money. It's, it's just a two-way street. That's how it works. The more we thank, the more we will get. And the less we will thank, the bigger of a chance is that Hashem will send some messages to remind you to thank. So why should we wait? To get those hard reminders to thank. Let's thank for everything all the time. You drive your car, thank Hashem that you could drive. Thank Hashem that it's a beautiful weather outside. It's hot outside. Thank Hashem that you have an air conditioner, the car blowing and, making, and keeping you cool. So on and so forth. All day there's so much we can thank. And let's keep on thanking, living with gratitude every day <laughs> with a smile.